All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope you got your snacks and everything. Um, we are just continuing onward. Um, oh, I need to add shields because I'm an idiot. And I totally forgot to pause this. Yes. So <laughs> that's my fault. All right, so let's get our shields back up. Oh, right around the corner. God, I got to tell you something. I love it. You ripped through the shields. Hey, you must have a disruptor blaster. Um... I totally love this axe that I have discovered that I got early and everything. Like, this is a good weapon to have. I'm going to keep this weapon for a while. Um, nothing down here. Oh, another droid. Go figure. <laughs> yeah, we're just gut it. We're just going to gut our way through this base. <laughs> okay, so... The vents are turned off, so... Why do they have poison gas vents in this thing? Like, I don't understand that. Uh... No. no, I'm not. Um, okay, I, dude, find your own way out. Yeah, I can, dude. <laughs> I'm not, it's literally not integral to the plot, so I'm not worrying about it too much. Okay, so, God, I love this axe. This thing is stupid powerful. I am so keeping this. Like, literally. Alright, so, I have enough demolitions to get into this thing. Back up. Okay, so I'm gonna get broken components. Oh, I didn't, oh wow, I lucked out on that. Usually I get wind up getting broken components from doing that. That's awesome. All right, so, I, 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 may, I may save him, I don't know yet. We'll, we'll see. Ash. Did he shoot through the shields? No, he didn't. Okay, I was going to say, did he, did they wind up shooting through the shield? God, this thing is stupid powerful. God, I love this axe. And now this got me thinking because it's like, um, I was planning on buying Elden Ring. And, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> I was planning on buying Elden Ring because it's m very much like this game. So it's like, I want to, I really want to try Elden Ring out. And... I'm thinking I'm going to buy it and everything. And I don't know. I might do a stream for it. I'm not entirely sure whether or not I should or not. You know, because I'm, I'm really worried about the quality of Elden Ring. Like, not not the quality of the game itself. The quality of the stream and everything. So, here's to maybe I'll do it. You know, just depends on, you know, whether or not, you know, like... I have to get comfortable with the game first, because I've never played any of the Dark Souls games and everything, and... Oh, I can't open that? Oh, wow. Um, I've never played any of the Dark Souls games, so I don't know what I'm getting into with that, and honestly, I want to I wanna try it out before I actually do anything with it, so... I may or may not wind up doing Elden Ring on this stream at some point. I don't know. Um, just depends on how I feel about it. But I'm definitely thinking about buying Elden Ring because everybody says it's awesome. So, uh, where does this lead? Oh, okay. I think I okay. I think there's a way to get him out of here uh, through that door think I don't know if that's part of the restore oh HK protocol droid huh mm-hmm activate the droid program droid to follow you all right uh, if I can destroy at least one HK droid I'm cool with that because watch this shit <laughs> He just blew up. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Anyway, so military door. Um, no, there's nothing in this hallway for once. I need to up my shields again. We all need to up our shields again. All right. So there's nothing down this way. Get the 
metal case. Ooh, another Republic. Ooh, and a Mandalorian melee shield. Nice. Okay, cool. So we will definitely have shields for later. I'm like the one thing about this game that I learned is that shields are pretty much essential to this game. Like, it's not that you can't play it without them. It's just you will have a hard time playing it. So it's like uh, it's a give and take kind of ordeal, you know. All right, reactor control, start reactor, boom, awesome. All right, so we're definitely getting out of here. We're getting to the plot point at this point. So that's really oh the tank droid. Oh yeah, I I didn't forget about the tank droid. It's just. There's something that I usually do, and I didn't do it this time. <laughs> so, uh, we didn't screw ourselves, but, you know, it's like, it, it, it's passable, but it's like, God, even a regular hit on this axe. God, I love this axe. This is amazing. Like, even, oh, why is his, why did he die? Did his shields go down? That's dumb. Oh, actually, when he goes down, remote stays alive. Huh, how about that? Alright, well, here you go, bud. I'll give you an advanced med pack. There you go. There you go. I love being able to heal other characters in this. I don't know if you can do that in the first one. Alright, uh, let's shield you up again. Why did your shields drop? That's weird. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. Alright, let's go find that Zerka guy. Well, actually, I want to see if I can get the door open first. It, it, this might be a restored content mod thing. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, that Zerka guy, he can find his way out. I'm not concerned about him. I guess that is really a restored content mod thing. That's weird that, that that that's one of the things that they cut out from the restored content mod. Okay, security door. I actually need to get in here. Ooh. Parts. Uh, it should be in here. Oh, unarmed accuracy gloves data pad. This data pad can... Oh, the ignition goes. Cool. All right, so we can get out of here. What's... Physical, these Plaga bearing blades affecting me. Oh, hmm. I'm gonna keep those. Um, I could use those for something later, but I'm gonna definitely keep those. I know what I can use them for, and that would actually be very helpful to me. I love the fact that I can literally run numbers in this game and do it off the top of my head like that. So, I actually want to see. Can we get him out of here? Fine, keep following me. Let's see if I can't get you out of here. I think it's this way. He he might have the access codes to the door. I don't know. Because I know this door, in the restore content mod at least, goes topside. So I honestly don't know 100%. Uh, should be able to get through it, maybe? Uh, I guess not. Have fun, dude. Uh, he stopped following me. I'm not going all the way to the entrance. Like, literally, dude, I'm, I'm booking it out of here, you know? So, it's like, find your own way out. Why did he just stop? And eh, you know what, screw him, whatever. He's not important to the crew. He's not going to join the crew anyway, so it's like, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so we're just, we're just going to leave. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, oh, the tank droid. I forgot. Man, I don't know how I always forget that. <laughs> okay, so let's go into this room first. Get some cover, because he can't shoot through walls. Unlock the hangar doors. Log out. Okay, so... I always do it this way. So, where the fuck is he? Oh, 
whoa, he's stuck in the door. Okay. Um, I guess an island grenade would be helpful. Oh, I thought I killed it. I was like, damn. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, our shields are down. Um, Oh shit, he's doesn't have a shield. Wow. Okay. Uh there we go. Oh crap. Oh god, okay. Yeah, this is a bad idea. Iron grenade. I was gonna say I thought I straight up killed him. Oh wow, okay, he does a lot of damage. Oh yeah, the solo mode's on. God in heaven. Thank you, Craft. Okay, so I guess we can try. God, he's whooping my ass. Okay, but this axe is good. Oh sh. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm well aware that the party member is down. Gray, it's up to you. Cool. Okay. Good thing we brought her along. What were you doing? <laughs> he wasn't doing anything. All right. Uh, I guess I'll med pack myself up. I'm so glad my healing stats are pretty good for the most part. Honestly, it's probably better if I use a med pack. Ooh. I can do that. Huh. It's weird he had 83 bucks on him. <laughs> Alright, so... Now... Alright, we're definitely gonna have to shield up. When we get the chance. Ooh! Vibro Double Blade and Zerka Defensive Gauntlets. Let's look at that. Oh, I can't wear them. Oh, this is just a defense bonus. But the Vibro Double Blade... No, I'm still going to keep the War Axe, although that is a good weapon. It's not bad. Targeting visor, chemical adhesive grenade. What's the targeting visor do? One's accuracy in combat. Mm, I'll put those on. Ooh, Disruptor Carbine. That's going to be worth a lot of money. Frag grenade, I definitely gonna need those, that's for sure. Open, open, come on. Open, thank you. Open. <laughs> okay, well, that's good enough. Anyway, so now we can energy shield ourselves. All right, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> let's go to the polar region. Yeah, Telos is pretty short for the most part if you know how to do it, but it's it's also one of the more boring planets, in my opinion. Like, just, that's just me personally. Like, I'm sure in comparison to other planets, it's not that boring. Statement. We have arrived too late. The target has invaded us. We must pursue it. Observation. They have likely escaped aboard the orbital shuttle that has been docked here. God, that looks so good on my computer right now. Query. Have you discovered anything about the shuttle's course? Answer. I have managed to track the shuttle's movement across the shield network. However, the shield network does not stretch over the polar region, which was the shuttle's apparent destination. Statement. Dispatch a unit to the polar region with the last known coordinates and approximate path of the shuttle. They will not escape us again. So there are like hundreds of HK droids. I like in the restore content mod, there's this part where Atten's all like, oh, this is going well, and then they get shot down. He's like, I swear to God, this never happens to me. Hmm. Yeah, but not only do we get to fight one HK droid, we get to fight three. 
I love that they did that little help, uh, that little head tilt with HK40 or HK50. Like, I think that's so cool. I hope my shields are still up. <laughs> Korea just collapsed. <laughs> Okay, I thought it was. I thought they made me wear different armor for a second. I was like, "What the hell?" My shields are up, but theirs aren't. That's weird. Not a Jedi. Any reason why you shot down my vessel? Necessary clarification. We merely wish to cripple your vessel. Once we tracked your coordinates, we were able to deploy several droids in this location. Probing query. We are, however, curious as to why you chose to come to the remnants of the polar Telos irrigation system. Damn it. Here that our instruments <laughs> can detect a bigger threat. But we are looking forward to extracting your motives for coming here when we place you in torture restraints. Why are what are what are you assassin droids doing here? Wherever you try to run, we will be there, armed and ready. Rhetorical query. The query you have posed to us is one we put to you. What are you doing here? We wonder. How many of there are you? Destroying one of you, I'm going to be cocky. Destroying one of you was easy. Wiping out three of you might cause me to break a sweat. Alright, so... Oh, that's right. I made Atten run through the mines. I'm so sorry, bud. <laughs> Alright, uh... Alright, so... Energy shields. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Pause. Damn it, she doesn't have an energy shield. Alright, uh... God, I gotta throw these things. Crazy. Alright, uh... You definitely need an energy shield because you are not strong enough. Damn it, he doesn't have one either. <laughs> Sorry, bud. <laughs> Alright, uh... Boom. Okay, uh... Let's do this. So glad I have this thing. God, that guts him. Oh, my God, I love this. Actually, no, let's gang up. Because these things can kill us pretty easily if they really wanted to. Okay, so now, thank you, Kray, for the assist. God, I love this axe, like, literally. Okay, so I need to pick up the remains. Okay, control cluster. We need that. For our little project back on the ship. He got two flamethrowers? Might be able to use those. Toxin emitter. Cool. So T3 is going to be really happy that we got those. Why is solo mode on? Why did I do that? Come on, dude. Let's go. And there's poor Beador knocked unconscious in the snow. Uh, if you can find refuge, then he should recover in time. Cool. And I remember I got lost the first time. I didn't know where to go. And then, like, I didn't realize that this mound right here was the door. I was a kid when I played this, so it was like, I was, like, really being stupid. Okay, so. Now we're going to get really dialogue heavy, so... If I get quiet, I'm sorry. Well, I'm not going to be quiet because I'm going to be reading the lines, so. Oh, look, it's one of the hussies that stole our ship.
Lay down your weapons, and you shall not be harmed. <sighs> All right, we mean no harm. I'm just gonna get what over that immediately. We go, I end up in a cell. I mean, why did they lock us up? What is this place? It is a training ground for Jedi. What? This Poor Bantor, he's knocked yes. out. It bears the semblance of an academy, but where are all the students? You've got to be joking. What is a Jedi Academy doing out here in the middle of nowhere? It is a place hidden from the galaxy, like the Academy on Dantooine. But this place... Oh, Atris, you have been clever. Atris? It's none of your concern. Well, the sooner we're out of here, the better. Two crazy Jedi are more than enough for me. No one told me we were going to be dumped in a nest of Jedi. Then what is it about this place that causes you such fear? What do you mean? We're in the middle of a bunch of Jedi. You know how they are. No, I do not. Not in the way you seem to. What? What are you doing? Get out of my head! Stop struggling. Let me follow the current. Deep, deeper to its source. Stop! Stop! Ah! Ah. With the fear is mingled guilt. It squirms in you like a worm. And the why? Ah, and there is its heart. You surprise me. I could not feel it before. Your feelings are a powerful shield indeed. Do not worry, Athan. If he is a Jedi, he will forgive. And if he is not, he will not care. You can't tell him, please. I'm asking you. I don't want him to... Think less of you. I hardly think that's possible. Still, there is no shame in what you ask. We all wage war with the past, and it leaves its scars. I will not speak of yours, Athen, but there is a price for such things. What? What price? There are those who wage war and those who follow them. You are a crude thing, murderer, but you have your uses. You know how important this man we travel with is. Even one such as you can feel it. You will serve him until I release you. And if I refuse? You will not. If you do, then my silence will be broken. And then, Athen, you will be broken. You fear the Jedi, and rightly so. If Atris learns of your choices, you will never leave this place. But whatever fear you hold of the Jedi, know that if you disobey me, that my punishment will make you beg for the death that has long hounded you. Wipe the fear from your mind. You will not find blind obedience a difficult master. You chose it once. You will learn to embrace it again. I don't know how you became such a manipulative witch, but why a vicious old scowl like yourself would even bother with me is a bigger mystery. No game of the Jarek can be won without pawns, and this may prove to be a very long game. You are a slippery one. Your thoughts difficult for even one such as I to read. I suspect the self-loathing that squirms within you gives you a curious strength. Your spirit, as diseased as it is, refuses to allow you to give up. No matter what threats you face, and whatever wreckage you leave behind you, I feel you have crossed our path for a reason. Perhaps even you, at the right moment, may be able to turn aside disaster. If so, your potential is not yet spent. Fine. I'll be your pawn. But I still think you've got the wrong man. Perhaps. But someone has to fly the ship, and the Force is a hard thing to predict. You have crossed our path for a reason. Our path brought us here for a reason, and now I know why. The past is here, and it must be met before the future can be set in motion. Uh, more Jedi speak. Care to explain? No. I've wasted enough time with you. Sleep, murderer, and be silent. I need no distractions. A critical moment approaches. Oh, I actually have to pay attention for this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've seen this part. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at my phone. <laughs> I was just checking all my other stuff. <laughs> okay, so this is Atris, and I will get into the lore dump here in a minute after this whole thing happens. I did not expect to see you again after the day of your sentencing. I thought you had taken the exile's path, wandering the galaxy. Yet you have returned. Why? Um, 
It wasn't my intention to come here, Atris, or to see you again. Oh, Perhaps you do not know yourself as well as you think. Regardless, your arrival here begs an explanation. Have you come to face the judgment of the council, as you did so many years ago? Are you finally willing to admit that you were right talking. to cast you out? <sighs> the council... Uh, see, now this is the hard part. Uh, maybe you should... No. They were right. Jedi do not go to war no matter what the reason. I was, uh, I'm going to go with that one. I deserve exile. I was no longer a Jedi. Of course you are no Jedi. No Jedi behaved as you do. You sought adventure. You the Jedi Order asked only for time to examine the Mandalorian threat. They urged caution, patience, and you defied them. So when you returned, you were brought before us. You were a Jedi no longer, and so you were exiled. For my punishment could have been worse for that, I am grateful. There was much about that day that was difficult to forget. Your words, mm. your defiance, and when you stabbed your lightsaber into the center stone. I so I would never forget. There's my lightsaber. Oh yeah. So I don't know why this glitch happens, but for some reason <laughs> lightsabers look kind of wonky in this game. It's not a terrible thing, because I actually think it kind of looks cool, but it's like, for some reason, on the Xbox One, the lightsabers look really fucking weird, and I think it's so cool. I was no longer... It was your right to do so, and I no longer deserved Indeed, it. a lightsaber is the mark of a Jedi. When you turned your back on the Order, it was not yours anymore. I have always kept it, as a reminder of what can happen when your passions... I like to think that they're proto-sabers more than anything. So I would never forget your arrogance or your insult to the Order. <sighs> uh, I wish to earn the right to carry my lightsaber again. again. That is a thing far out of reach. But I am not unsympathetic to your feelings. Leaving the Order must have been difficult for you. Yet you gave the Council no other choice. You gave me no other choice. Well, I'm trying to think, what's the best option here? I'm not here to debate the council's Indeed. decision. Very well. Your exile has given you some wisdom, at least. So then, answer me. How did you find this place, and why have you returned after all this time? I'm looking for my ship so I can leave Telos. I'm trying to be nice in this situation. I really am. Ah, the Ebon Hall. It is not your ship. Unless you are admitting to the destruction of the Paragus mining facility. I'm still getting blamed for that? The Literally, the Telos government cleared me on that. Uh, the destruction of Paragus was an accident. An accident. Something beyond your control. You have not changed. Acting instead of thinking. Putting yourself before the galaxy, before the Jedi. You know what you have done. Yeah, I know. I destroyed two. I know. I put two. I de eh, I destroyed two worlds with one explosion. No, your crime is much more than that. Without the fuel from Paragus, Citadel Station cannot maintain its orbit. It will crash into the planet, and its destruction will echo across twenty other worlds. Telos what do you mean? To see if the Republic could mount a restoration effort on the outer rim. When it fails, the Republic will not finance another. The other rim worlds devastated by the Sith will remain graveyard worlds, devoid of life. And that is the magnitude of your crime. It's almost as bad as the Jedi letting the outer rim die during the Mandalorian so Wars. Still hold to your flawed convictions. How is it that you are not content to confine your ruin to yourself? You must spread it to others wherever you go. Ruin yourself with your actions if you will. But when your actions bring harm to others, then you must answer for it. So now I get blamed for the actions of the Sith. What do you mean? The Sith have returned and they're hunting all Jedi. You have encountered the Sith. I can feel the scars on you. Tell me, where did you encounter them? The Sith came for me on Paragus to kill me. What would they want there? They can't have been looking for you. The Sith believe me to be the last of the Jedi. You. If they thought you were Jedi, the teachings of the Sith blind them indeed. I am the last Jedi, not you. You betrayed our teachings, our beliefs, the very core of the Jedi Order. 
If these Sith attacked you, they will soon realize their mistake. And if you escaped, they most likely let you go to see if you would lead them here. I don't think I was I followed. See. For now, the perspective on your situation has changed. I have your ship. I will return it to you. You must leave here before you place us in jeopardy. Is there anything I can do to help? Offer your aid. After turning your back on me, on the council, the Jedi is... Bitch, that was ten years ago, okay? <laughs> the commitment is stronger than that. Something you never seem to understand. <sighs> the Sith have numbers on their side, and you need all the allies you can get. I'm not doing this out of fear. I want to help. But if you help me, it cannot be done from here. There are others in the galaxy who may help us against a Sith threat. If you can find them, gain their trust, perhaps our defenses shall be stronger for it. Take your ship. Seek them out. If you find them, encourage them to gather on Dantooine. From there, we can call a council and see what can be done. All right. If there's anyone who can aid us, that I will find them. Your way. It is now time for you to depart. We shall remove him, mistress. Honestly, it's really satisfying for this conversation to go well. Like, honestly. Like, it, it takes a lot of effort to make this conversation go well. But, you know, hey. I've played this game for ten years, so... <laughs> Are you all right, mistress? It's one of my favorite the games. brought up feelings best left forgotten. Forgive me, mistress, but I must ask. The exile. I've never seen another affect you so strongly. Did you care for him once? The Jedi have no such attack. As always, he will do as he wills. Bullshit. And the galaxy and the feelings of others can burn for all he cares. The day we judged him, I stood in the chamber and he was... He was so right. He was so certain of it. I doubted myself. He chose Revan over the Jedi, over the Council, over... But now... Now I am tired. I must meditate. See, now the lightsaber looks good in that cutscene. You are not to be disturbed. And please, do not exhaust yourself. We can attend to it. Yeah, yellow is not a bad color, but personally, if I find the orange crystal again, I'm going to use that. But I do have a green crystal. I do have that on me. So, you know, that's really cool. Uh, I can't wait to get my lightsaber parts so I can make a lightsaber. And then it's funny because after you make a lightsaber, like, they're not easy to find as they were in the first one. But they are, you know, like when you do find them, it's like, oh shit, I found a lightsaber. You know? So it's really cool that they kind of limited the lightsaber presence in this game compared to the first one. Because you can kill a Sith assassin in the first one and it literally, like, they drop lightsabers like crazy. I'm searching for my friends. In the main irrigation channel room, in the northern part of the plateau interior. The particle emitters there that once governed the flow of water to Telos can double as force cages. So they're prisoners? Until we could determine your intent, exile. Atris cautioned us against your tactics, fearing that your allies would create a distraction. Your companions gave us little trouble, however. The male could have presented some challenge if he had resisted, but he chose not to. He has had Ooh, some Atten? training. He masks it well, but when you are in danger, his mask dropped into a stance we know well. Where would you have gotten that training? No, the Ichani forms are known to be taught to military special forces throughout the galaxy. If the source is a mystery to you, perhaps you should ask him. It would be wise to know those you travel with. Hmm. Where is it? Or the Ebonhawk? Where is it? I'm sorry, I read the last part of that question. Atris has given you permission to leave this place, and permission to return if you remain in her service. Yeah, that's not going to work out. All right. Uh, actually, I can do this side quest. I kind of want to do it. I'm looking for a fight. To instruct you. I have been anxious to teach you many principles of combat ever since you invaded this place. Uh, oh, yes. Teaching? We train extensively in various combat styles, and we have not had another target for some time. You may prove a pleasant diversion. I could use a good Very sparring well. match. Follow me. And we shall see if you have the endurance to learn the most basic of our teachings. It's been a while since I've done this side quest. Oh god, I'm naked. <laughs> Before we begin, are you familiar with Ichani traditions? Nope. All between us shall be without armor of any kind. 
There shall be no restrictions upon our movements or upon yours. Your feet are not to leave the training mat during the battle. If they do, you will lose. Also, well. this is not a fight to the death. Restrain your instincts when we fight, and we shall do the same. I understand. Stay on the mat, no armor, no striking to kill. Hands and feet only. No stimulants, shields, weapons, or other items. Also, do not call upon any Jedi techniques during our contest. If you do, then the battle will be over. In turn, I will not use our higher form. While my friends are stuck in jail, I'm in the middle of fighting these people. Of each other's strength. Then let us All right, begin. I'm ready. Might lose, but you know, hey, whatever. Just wanted to see if I could do it. Okay, I'm not doing too bad. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're doing we're doing pretty good. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, okay, we nailed a hit there. Oh, she crit hard. Okay, well I lived. If you wish, you may challenge us again, and we will progress to more advanced movements. Uh let me heal up first, I'll be ready for a fight again. Cool. Uh yeah, we're doing this. <laughs> because it's been a while since I've actually done this quest. Like I don't actively do this quest often. Alright, uh dialogue. Yeah, I wish to challenge you again. Our next battle will be using the higher forms among the Ichani. You may choose hands and feet, or whatever melee weapon. Oh, whatever melee weapon I want? Oh, you are in trouble, because I got a Gamorrean axe ready to kill your ass. Oh, God, I missed. Come on. Now's the time it really needs to crit. There we go. Come on. Cool. Uh, let me heal up. I have med packs. I got this. I can always go buy more. No. Let me heal up. Right, I'm going to save right here because I haven't saved in a while. Okay, so let's go. I wish to challenge you again. I shall honor your request. Our next battle shall be free of restriction on weapons and items. And you may use Ooh, you are fucked. I will spare none of our fun. And let us begin. I'm ready. Let's go. Wait. No restriction on items. That means I could wear this. Wear this. Oh, no. Uh, okay, so melee shield. And horse. Alright, fine. I use force screen. God, she cut through my shield like that? Ooh, well, you're fucked. Oh, come on, really? There we go. Uh, I'm challenge you again. Uh, that sounds fine to me then. We shall see how you fight again. Use whatever item. All right. Let me get ready and then I'll return. I'm going to beat the shit out of all of you. <laughs> I'm going to heal up first. <laughs> wow, this is a weird side quest. I haven't done this in a while. I'm going to save right here. That way, if I lose, I can always go back and try again immediately. All right. Uh, I'm going to go heal my force points real quick and then I'll be back. 
actually going to need to find my friends real quick. Ooh, if I can find my friends real quick, that'd be nice. Because they might be able to help me. I don't remember how this quest goes, so if I'm being honest Did with you. Did you find what you came for? Uh, that depends. What was I supposed to find here? I feel we did not come to this place by chance. You were led here. This woman who resides here, she did something to you once. Something that hangs upon you <gasps> still. Uh, she was one of the council who cast me out of the order. She wanted to punish me even further. I see it now. The act has left its marks. Be warned. Unresolved events from our past can create wounds in the present and the future. And more importantly, they can distract you, weaken you. It could prove fatal against the enemies we face. The woman here is a Jedi, Atris, one of the council. There's a Jedi here, perhaps, in that you are correct. Yet there are no students, and this woman, this Atris, surrounds herself with those who cannot feel the Force. Curious. Hmm. Well, nature's plans to rebuild the galaxy plans and then the order. Things, and life often dashes expectations to the ground. Perhaps students will come to her in time. For now, she is surrounded by those who cannot feel the force. Aren't the handmaidens her no, student? Her servants are not Jedi. Their minds are walls. Oh, I gotta go do that. I forgot about mind. that. This discipline blinds them to the force as well, even if they were force sensitive. How do you know that? Were you reading their minds? Invade the mind of another. It is not something done carelessly, or when there is nothing to be gained. I don't trust her. Well, there's nothing to be gained by talking here. Let us depart. <sighs> he looks out cold. What happened to Atten? Sleeping. It seems the journey here has fatigued him. You are a lying bitch. He can sleep on the ship. Let's go. I'm sorry, General. I must have lost consciousness in the crash. There's nothing to apologize for. Are you okay? Why are you apologizing for losing consciousness in a I'm crash? Sorry, Even power has been restored to my arm. What is this place? Where are we? Jedi Academy concealed on the northern pole of Telos. See where I had detected the energy readings before, and the drain to the restoration shields. This room, this place, it looks. Part of a huge polar irrigation system, possibly planet wide, like the one on Coruscant. I've been told by the Republic that it was not in use. <laughs> but no, I'm not gonna say the first one. Are you well enough to travel? I am, General. If you wait. Come with me. Very we need well, your help. Alright, we're gonna choose him and him. Good. He gained his Confidence. All right, I want to explore this place and then I'll go back and finish that fight real quick. Because I don't. Oh God, dude, you got fucked up. I'm so sorry, bud. Uh, let's get you an advanced med pack. Bedor is my favorite, like companion out of everybody. There you go, bud. Okay, so now we need to go find. Uh, well, actually, let's search this place first. We need to go find the handmaiden handmaiden, and you, you'll see why in a second. I'm going to let this stream run just a little bit. Oh, another one of those robes? Wow. I'm going to let this stream run just a little bit longer than usual because it's going so well, and there's a lot of content to cover in this episode. You are the exile, the one Atris warned us about. And what did Atris say? He said, you betrayed the Jedi by going to war when it was forbidden to you. You turned on your masters, your teachings, and yourself. Uh, I went to protect others, not, not to fight. She says. she says you know nothing of loyalty to any cause except your own animal instincts. And she told us why you fell to the dark side. And... Why was that? I do not walk the path Atris of the dark says side. that you fell to the dark side in the Mandalorian Wars when you gave in to your lust for battle. Once you tasted war, you could not give it up. So why didn't I keep fighting in the Jedi Civil War? That doesn't explain why I stopped fighting after the Mandalorian Atris Wars. Says, when the Dark Lord Revan returned to the Republic, 
you did not march with him, because you had fallen so far, you could no longer feel the force. Anything else? That is untrue, but... That is untrue, but Atris is entitled to her opinion. That's the extent of her expressed feelings toward you. There are variations at times, but all rise from the same foundation. Express feelings. Yes. It is difficult sometimes for others to truly speak their heart or listen to it. The words often prove difficult, or they do not come at all. What do you think Atrus's heart Without says? Having seen you and Atrus fight, I cannot say. Battle is a pure form of expression. It is heart and discipline reduced to movement and motion. Well, I, if I fought Atrus, then that would make the truth come out. Perhaps it may prove truer than conversing with words. In battle, the words are swept away, giving way to actions. Mercy, sacrifice, anger, fear. These are pure moments of expression. All right, uh, I would like to ask yes. you something else. Uh, you look different than the other women here. The face of my mother. It is not. I'm. I apologize. I made no offense. To apologize. You were merely remarking on something that you saw. There is no wrong in that. Is it a sensitive it is subject? It's not a sensitive subject, but a subject that requires trust. There is no such trust between you and I, and such trust takes time. Fair enough. You may ask. Let me ask you something else. Uh, never mind. Are we going now? Exile. Question for you, if I may ask it. You have touched the force. What does it feel like? Yeah, it's a difficult thing to describe. Please, I wish to know. Uh, imagine waking up and hearing the heartbeat of the galaxy for the first time. I see. Thank you, Exile. I appreciate you sharing. It was my pleasure. Cool. I'm really nice. <laughs> Actually, how far am I on that? Oh, okay, so I'm pretty far. And he's pretty much neutral. He's neutral light side. He's all right. The Bay Door is always the homie. All right, so let's go this way. Okay, so now that we have that covered, we can go back and finish this fight. I wonder if my companions will actually help me out with this. Oh, I hit my mic again. God, that's like the sixth time now. I'm actually going to... Boop. Boop. I'm going to cheat. <laughs> awesome. Let's go. Have you returned to fight again? There is nothing Why did you strip me naked? If that is what you we shall see if use whatever item then let us I'm ready, let's go. It stripped me naked. I can't believe that. Actually, I wanna try something. I wonder how... Okay, that didn't work. You have fallen. Oh, I stepped out of the map. We shall see how you use whatever I I didn't mean to step out of the mat, I'm sorry. Okay, so I wasted those for no reason. Uh Oh This might be a bad idea. Uh force powers. Well, I fucked up. <laughs> no, I might be able to get out of this yet. Okay, more time. Okay, so they're both at half health. I might be able to manage this. Oh, shit. I forgot about her. Okay, I can manage this. Give me one second, let me heal. Okay, I can do this. 
Hit her. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> come on. Alright, come on. There we go. I want it. Oh. Uh, so I've had enough for today. I'll be going now. Okay, so I guess we won that. <laughs> so anyway, that's pretty much where we're going to end this episode. So uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. When we come back for the next stream and for the next couple of episodes and everything, we will be leaving telos officially and we will be exploring the galaxy at our heart's content so for the youtube thank everybody so much for watching follow the faustus verse twitch the youtube uh the faustus verse 249 on tiktok and everything for really funny stuff and that's pretty much all i got so thank everybody so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one bye i don't know <laughs>